Good morning, everybody. Today is uh, August 10th, 2009. We're just in a house in South Plainfield. I get a lot of calls. People ask me about wooden bed frames. What is the problem? However, I just want to show you, we're just coming in. It's a very nice house. And if you look right here, this is the first time you're looking at seeing what we're seeing. We have not seen this before in this house. So we, we just pulled off. We just pulled up, we're getting ready to get started here. And you can see we have bed bugs here, here. And you can see we have them right here. They're alive in this corner. Can you see that? Okay, that's right here. That's a bed bug that's alive in this corner. Now, what's going to happen is this frame right here, this wooden frame, I'm finding more and more that it's becoming a difficulty. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna disassemble this frame, but if you look right here, we have these parts that are going in and out. And these parts are creating a problem because the bed bugs, the nymphs, the smallest stages of the bed bugs, are living in here and then they're reproducing in here and then they're coming out. So we're, we're physically going to take this whole bed frame apart and we're going to go through each bed. We met these people last week. They said this was the only room they were having a problem with. And I stated to them, this is the only problem, only room you know you're having a problem with. And sure enough, when they started clearing out the kids' rooms for us, they found more bed bugs in the kids' room, which I'm sure was there. Because there's interaction, the kids are hopping, they're going from beds. The individuals are going from beds to beds. They're hanging out, they're watching TV, they're in a common area. And bed bugs are spreading throughout the house. Sometimes people say, well, we only see them in one room, and which I say that's great, but we don't know if they are or aren't in the other room, and uh, we have to wait for them to emerge, and sometimes it takes a little time. So we have the uh, protective bed covers we have with us. We're going to be covering all the beds like we always do as part of our program. Okay, these are not store-bought. These are not store-bought products, and uh, you want to make sure when you're dealing with a company, dealing with a reputable company, two guys, I have the guy videotaping me and me, and make sure that there's enough manpower in place to take this type of furniture apart. As you can see, there's heavy pieces of furniture right here. Okay, we have the armoire and we have the dresser. And what we're going to do is we're physically gonna turn them on their side. If I was one guy, I could not do it. So just wanted to point out to you, again, sometimes people are calling me. They're calling me from Canada, they're calling me across the world. And they're saying, what do we do about wood frames? Wood frames are very difficult to take care of. Sometimes what we do is we tell the individuals, we have to wrap up your wood frame and then we have to go with something metal and maybe in a year from now, if you want to bring that back, you can. So this is Scott with another great episode of uh, Pest Plus and Bed Bug News. If you need to get a hold of us, our number is 732-777-6857. And if you'd like to get a hold of the covers, you can always find it on our online store at www.pestplus.net. Until next time, stay bed bug free. And if you're not, call Pest Plus. Sayonara.